Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Schooling Lady and today I'm going to encourage you to create some beautiful folk art cards in the shape of a heart. As you can see, we're going to create two projects together and I really hope you will feel inspired to create something beautiful after watching this video. For all my cards, I'm going to use all the new cutting dice and I've got wonderful Vicinanki, Polish Paper Cuts 3D die and also Folksy Florals die and all the names of the products you can check in the description down below. To die cut all my elements, I'm going to use some card from Hobbycraft in pastel and rainbow colors. I think these are actually perfect for all those folk flowers because they are very bright. As you can see, I put all those dice and I use low tack tape to attach them together. And this is a very big tip for you because this way I can actually put them on another card and die cut them over and over again. And that's exactly what I did. But the big trick with that card from Hobbycraft, you can actually have two layers and die cut more elements at the same time. And I did exactly the same with all the embellishments using green card and I use slightly lighter and darker green for all those elements and again I put all those dice together using low tack tape and this actually lasted me for a very long time because I die cut I don't even know how many but a lot and you can see how I can keep them separate so every single color is in one bag and this way they are separate but I can actually create lots of flowers in no time. As you can see for my first card I already created some die cuts and I'm going to use the same color palette and this is very crucial whenever you create any folk art project I really encourage you to stay with limited color palette because that will make your project even more special and as you can see I'm using my one and only liquid with glue, magic glue, to assemble all the pieces together and it is very simple. This Alta New die set is very old now. I've got it for a couple of years, but it is my favorite in my stash. And if you haven't seen my folk art cards in the shape of a square, I will link them at the very end of the video so you can check them out as well. However, for this project today, I decided to use Black Heart. And I'm going to use Nestables Hearts from Creative Craft Products. And I'm going to use two smaller hearts. And these two will actually give me the card base and I'm going to die cut it twice from 300 GSM white stamping card and one from black card from crafters companion and also I die cut the sentiment using gold mirror card and this one is in Polish to be honest all the cards I created with the heart shape, they have Polish sentiments because folk art, this one as you can see, is Polish folk art and I absolutely love this style. So I thought these cards would be perfect for my family and friends and at the end of the video I'm going to show you lots of different examples I created of camera. So now it is time to assemble the card together and I'm gluing the black heart onto a white one and and it is time to add some embellishments and this is very crucial. They are like space fillers but they really make a difference in your beautiful folk art project. So if you haven't used any of florals just try. You can use any flowers from your stash if you have layered uh, florals or flowers please use them because this way that will be so beautiful and actually if you use black background that really makes all the elements pop and also in the description down below at the very bottom you can check my social media links and one of them is my blog and you can check the folk art canvas I created a few days ago and I think it is very beautiful. If you agree, I really hope you will check the link down below. Now I'm using my scoring board from Crafters Companion and I'm going to create two flaps at the top of my heart and using my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, I'm going to attach the front and the back and it's always a good idea to burnish it properly. As you can see, I didn't do it here so I had to add a little bit more glue but it is fine. Now the 
first card is complete and I do wonder what do you think about this color palette. For the second one I decided to use some blues and purples because why not. And again I'm going to use the same nestables dice from Creative Craft Products but this time I'm going to have two bigger dice and these hearts will actually fit in 8 by 8 inches envelope and the first one will go into 6 by 6 inches envelope. So now it is time to assemble all those flowers together and you know what I, what I really like about this old new Polish paper cut set that you can actually mix and match all of them and later on I'm going to show you what other flowers I created. I just couldn't stop. I really like this cutting die set and it is perfect not only for birthday or like in this case I'm going to create a card for a name day because that's what we actually celebrate in Poland as well. So if you have never ever used any folk art style in your card making I really hope you'll give it a go. Actually Scandinavian one is very pretty as well, very simple but absolutely beautiful. And if you don't like this style of folk art maybe check what is your favorite one? Go to Google and check what other countries have. What is the folk art style? And if you are inspired, please let me know in the comments down below. As you can see, it's always a good idea to have a dry run first before you assemble all the pieces together. Because this way you know exactly that everything will fit beautifully and you have space for all those elements. So now it is time to add those green fillers. I absolutely love them and I think they just add so much to the whole project. And I wonder how often do you stick to very limited color palette or do you like to go very bold and vivid like I usually go with my projects or would you just prefer simple and clean cards. Please let me know in the comments down below. What I really like about this old new cutting die set that as I said before you can mix and match all those elements and every single time you will have different project and whenever you create any folk art it's always a good idea to actually go with symmetry and this is very crucial because that's what makes folk art very special. Now as you can see I'm creating flaps at the top for my card and it is time to assemble the front and the back and I do wonder do you prefer the pink color palette or the blue color palette? Please let me know in the comments down below. So our second cut is finished and now you can see two and I wonder which one is your favorite. And now I'm going to show you all the flowers I created using all those die cuts. As you can see I just have so many of them. So if you want to see my projects with these beautiful elements go to my blog or Instagram because I'm going to post the pictures of those projects within a few next days. So please stay tuned for that. And now I'm going to show you all the other cards I created using those flowers. And I do wonder if you have your favorite. Please let me know which one is it. As you can see, I really couldn't stop. I really like this cutting die set. And if you do have your favorite cutting die set, tell me how many projects have you created with it? Because this is very special because those dice are pretty expensive. So try to stretch them. And that's what I really like about this one because every single project is slightly different but they are all beautiful and they really make me think about that Polish folk art. And yes, I do wonder if you have your favorite color palette for folk art, let me know in the comments down below. So now you can see all the ones I created and also the two we created together in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and check those two videos here. I really hope you will feel inspired to use some contrast using black card and some florals for your projects. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video, give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye!